you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that bell over to the side so that you get all the notifications for whenever we get to post new content. Absolutely. Today, we are going to talk about kids. Do it the most. 
And see, as a mama, when he do it, <laughs> she, might, she might do it the most because she with him all the time. Yes. But there's a big difference when daddy's voice speaks. Yes. There's when a he, certain reaction that has to happen. When he speaks, it's almost like they stop, look, shape up. But I don't, I don't understand. I be trying to put a little extra bass in my voice, but it don't, <laughs> it don't work. So, but anyway, um, he he mentioned that you we are supposed to be on the same page. We are. Um, I've caught myself interrupting when he's disciplining because sometimes I think yeah. he's doing it a little too hard. He being a little too mean, but yeah. as a as you can see, she's actually the more nurturer than the discipline. I am. I am. Those are my babies. Every last one of them. And guys, you still hear them special. in the background because they just right. sit right here, waiting to be able to get them on camera again. <laughs> Each no. one of them hold a special place in my heart. I have a soft spot for all of my kids. You know, everybody say, oh, I don't have a favorite kid. I don't have a favorite kid. My favorite kid is whichever no. kid is with me at that moment. That be my favorite. If all three of them is with me, all three are my favorite. They are my babies. However, they can work my nerves sometimes. So where I want to run away. Hey, excuse me. And so I'd be more excited than they be when they daddy come home. Cause I could be like, get your kids. Speaking of favorites, it's very Ready. important for Hush. a parent to understand um, that we don't necessarily show favoritism, but sometimes when one is doing too much and acting a certain way, then absolutely it might seem like the other child is the favorite at the time. When you try to be the disciplinarian to one kid, you're right, the other kid might get a couple extra fruit snacks. And the one that's messing up, hey, as you, you see, you can still hear them in the background. This is all the... <laughs> they have made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> okay. If, I could, if, if only I could show you, our little one is using one of the tripod. tripods <laughs> as a microphone. A microphone. <laughs> you hear her singing. One of the main things we want you guys to understand is, yes, having kids is doable and manageable in a marriage. Don't ever lose sight of your husband or your wife. Don't lose sight of your spouse in the raising and upbringing of children. Because like I always tell my children and my husband, they gonna grow up and they gonna leave me. And then I'm gonna be looking at him like, who are you? And so in within our family, within our unit, I must always remember my husband is still my husband. I must always continue to make time for him. Sometimes that means shutting them three down early. I'm okay with that. If it means that my husband and I get to spend quality time together, and if it means that we get a quiet moment, which you guys have witnessed, we ain't got one of those yet. If it means we get a quiet moment <laughs> together, then I'm all for it. Yes, we love our children. We are nurturers of our children. Don't get don't get the wrong um, idea. We love them. We love them immensely. Yes, we discipline our children. Yes, our children know right from wrong. And when they step out of line, we put them right back in it. But that does not take away from the love that we have, have for them. It actually adds too, because if I didn't love them, I could care less what they do. So one thing that we want to say is that it's important to be on the exact same page when it comes to raising what? children. One parent can't say, oh, I think that we should do this, or I think this should be this way. And the other parent says, oh, I think we should do this, because then it becomes a clashing, because nobody really wants to take hold of one or the other. It's okay to co even combine, come together to some sort of conclusion, to intertwine, but it's not okay to just be like, no, I want this, or no, I want this. It's also very important to be on the same page when it comes to disciplining kids. 
one parent can't be, oh no, we're not spankers, we are talkers and we do timeouts. And the other parent can't be like, nah, they act up, they get it. That, that was my bad. You, know, you did that. And I was
everything that's going on, everything that's happening, then the kids will be able to see there's no playing mommy against daddy, there's no putting them against each other, there's no trying to do one against the other. Everything mommy and daddy says seems to be the exact same, seems to go together. Seems like they are really tight, connected as one. The Bible tells us that when two become married, they become one flesh. And so the kids should be seeing that you are one flesh. <laughs> Normally you guys don't get to see all this. Normally we cut all of this stuff out and make sure it's quiet, then come back and record another couple seconds, then have to go make sure it's quiet again, and then have to record some more, and then go make sure it's quiet again, just to get the little bit of pieces that we begin to give. So, if you got anything, make sure as a couple, you guys are a united front and that you're working together and that you're always talking and always communicating about what's going on with your children. Whether you have children, whether you want children, you're getting ready to be a parent, remember, communication is really key. Like always, if you haven't already, we just We're gonna gonna leave, leave that, that there. there. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom and click the bell over to the side so that you get all notifications when we post videos. And as always, <laughs> you gotta And as always, peace. peace. Do peace out, Mama. Say peace. Peace. <laughs>